fish crown. Yummy grub. <laughs> Come on. Here. You lot are eating better than me these days. <laughs> hey, touchy bear, leave some for your sister. Don't hog the lot. For you, maybe. What's the spade for? Uh, the, the place I'm going later is by a river, so it might be a bit muddy. Just taking that in case the car gets stuck. You really think it's a step up from here? Well, it's bigger, so is that. Good morning, lovely. <laughs> What's the plan for today, then? Bottling up beer, plenty of it. Yeah, at least it's laughing helping. Mm. Nope. Not till this afternoon. How you come? Well, I'm gonna go and see a warehouse. I won't be long. You know, and I'll help when I get back. Seems to me our Bell's doing all the heavy lifting right now. Dad, Lachlan's busting the gut to find new premises. He's not skiving off, is he? Hmm. <sighs> go on. You get cracking. So, before I go to work, tell me about Hannah. <clears throat> Matty. Good answer. So, how do you feel about it? About what? Well, the fact that your cousin is transgender. Well, it don't really matter to me. We never saw much of Hannah as kids, so it's not like I'm going to miss her, is it? And as long as he's nothing like Adam, I don't really care. I'm impressed. Two very modern men. What is it you wanted to show us? Ta-da! What? You don't like it? Barton and Dingle. <laughs> well, are you sure Kane's going to like this? Well, it's in alphabetical order. Well, at least I know I won't be the only one with a brain injury when Kane sees that. Uh, we're partners. We needed a new sign. You do like making things difficult for yourself, don't you? Well, it keeps life interesting. Thank you. Speaking of keeping life interesting, I thought we should give you and me another go. Wow. Wow as in, yes, Rebecca, let's go home and ravage each other immediately, or wow as in, I only really sleep with hookers. Well, the fact that you just said that, it just shows that there's no point. Fine. Your loss. Again. Do you think I should have told Pete and Ross not to say anything? Like what? Matty. Not until he's ready to face everybody. It seems ready to me. Just don't overthink it. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Sure. Well, take after Adam. He likes a lion. <laughs> yeah. I like my sleep too, but no, we've been playing with my little bro. Have we? I didn't know he'd woken up. Yeah, we've been reading. Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. We've agreed it's a bad idea to let him. <laughs> Come here. Okay. Ooh, morning, you. Morning, you two. Right. Do that. Hi, darling. You know, if you wanted to stay a bit longer, we could always fix your room up. Okay, ta. Um, any chance of a lift to the supermarket? Just need some bits and toiletries and that. Well, what's wrong with the village shop? Hmm. I just thought it might be easier, you know, until you're ready to face everybody. Well, I'm ready if you are. Yeah. We'll go get dressed and we'll go to David's. OK. She, uh, said anything today? Excuse me and thank you. <laughs> kind of fault our manners, but that's all. Thought we were getting somewhere, but it starts to feel like two steps forward and one step back. It'll take her a while. We just, we need to be strong for Amelia. The other she's had, she needs her, even if she doesn't much like her at the minute. Morning, Smiler. He's <sighs> done that. He's a bloke. Their idea of doing their hair is toweling it dry. Right, you done your teeth? Get your coat. Time to go. Uh, before you do, um, I know things have changed, but uh, I thought we should uh, do things that normal families do. So, uh, we're going on holiday. Are we? Yeah, well, I thought we could decide where after school, you know. You're not very excited. I thought we all agreed to make things better. Yeah, we did. But I wrote a private letter to Beth that does show to everybody. He was worried about you. So I'm not really in the mood for going away with you all.
went down like a lead balloon. Oh, has Frank gone for good, then? I don't know. I'm not exactly in the loop. Well, I saw Megan this morning. She said he'd taken all his stuff, so, yeah. Oh. Poor Megan. It looked like she were in a bad way. How oh, Sarah, anyway? Oh, she's hardly allowed out of the room. Risk of infection. <laughs> she's dead bored. Send him a love, will you? Yeah, of course I will. And mine, too. Oh, I, I was... Going to suggest I went round to see her. I mean, what do you think? Oh, I'll ask, but Gaines told me to keep people at a distance. <laughs> Give them a chance to adjust before folks stick their noses in, is what he said. I don't know how I'd handle it. If it were Jacob or Amber. I agree. It's a tragedy. And do you know what the real tragedy is? All of you with your tongues wagging like a bunch of fishwives at the market. How can I be a fishwife and block? You think judging people is a one-way thing? No. Because if I wanted to, I could get personal with a lot of you too. Well, I am over the moon. And my son has come back home. So I don't know where Cain got the idea that you have to stay away. We were talking about Sarah. It's OK. Yeah. I've got this one, Mum. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm back. David should remember me. Used to work here. In another life. No, sorry, I don't. Yeah, that's because um, you probably knew me as Hannah, but uh, just call me Matty. Oh, um, hi, Matty. Well, you're a lot better looking than your brother. <laughs> oh, give me a love, oh. give me a hug. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, I know I called him love. I call everybody love. I mean nothing by it. Oh, don't worry. Oh. I don't jump to conclusions. Oh. Oh, thank God. Help me out, love. Why, what's up? I want to send a text to Chaz, tell her I'm thinking about her, but some of the words keep turning to little pictures. Yeah, they're emojis. Huh? What? Oh, I like it. Send it as it is, Dad. It's lovely. Aye? Right. Oh. Right. Hey, I can help you out too, if you like. No, don't right. worry. I'm quick on my own. When you first started this brewing, you couldn't get enough of my help. Well, yeah, but now we're barely scraping by and I don't want you to do it for nothing. That would be wrong. Well, OK. But shouldn't Lachlan be here by now, eh? Like he promised. He'll be back soon. Meanwhile, you're doing all the hard work, huh? I'm just saying it like I see it. And I'm saying that he needs to start pulling his weight. Dad, that's not fair. Look, I can promise you now, whatever Lachlan is doing right now, he's doing it for us. Good riddance. Uh. So, let me get this straight. Yeah. Little Hannah, the mouse in any room, she's a felon. 
Yes, and a handsome one at that. Who's this we're talking about? Morris, lad, Matty. Pearl's just saying what a handsome chap he is. Right. Handsome as me, is he? Will you hit me if I'm honest and say you're not my type? Too tall. Well, you're certainly my type. If that makes you feel any better. So, have you, uh, have you heard from Paddy? Just wondering how Chad is doing. They're on holiday. I mean, <laughs> would you ring your best mate if you were away with Moira? <laughs> no. Well, I've not heard from them, which I take as a good sign. I mean, what they're going through, a break from it must be nice. Poor loves. I don't think it's much of a break for her every time that baby moves. Bye, love, mate. Lachlan! Mel said to get you a pint, even though she's doing all the heavy lifting. What's going on, son? Nothing. I just, uh... I feel like I've wasted my time over the last few days when I could have been helping Bill. <sighs> Zach, I know you think I'm taking the mic, but... I'm just trying to get her what she wants. You know, and what her business needs. Have you thought what you're going to do with your summer? Ibiza? <laughs> yeah, right. She's going to get a job. Is there anything going at the B&B? Not that I know of. Oh, of course. Forgot you nearly destroyed the business and ran off with Brenda. Um, better look elsewhere. I could find a job on my own, thank you. They might have something at the calf. Well, perfect, you can take your CV there. CV? What, washing dirty dishes? No, Robert's right. You need to look professional. I like you actually want the job. If you really want to prove yourself to me and Belle, you'll finish that pint and go back and help her. So she's not doing it all on her own. Sorry, what? Help get out the order, like you said. Yeah, I will, later. Le I knew it was just all hot eh? You say one thing, then you do another. You've got a mobile, don't you? Hey? What's, uh, what's your number? My number, God knows. But I've got your number, Sonny Jim. <sighs> tell her to tell Belle I won't be long. Hey. Welcome! You know, I can be just as annoying with my food. Look, it's not fun, is it? <laughs> Reminds me of how Leo used to be. Meal times were a war. You should go and ask it out. No chance. Why not? It's obvious you fancy her. Both times we've tried and nothing's gone right for us. We're good friends now and I don't want to lose that by messing things up. So don't mess things up? Mm. Well, she knows what happened and yet, well, she still asks you out. Well, she's clearly into you, so if you're not making a big deal of it, why are you? Fine. <clears throat> hey. Hi. You can't sit there. I knew you were angry. What? No, that's Victoria's seat. She's left her purse in the pub, so... Oh. Look, um... I just want to apologise for earlier. Why? What did you do? I was rude to you when you asked me out. Oh, as if I'd ask you out. I am messing with you. Serves you right, though. <sighs> Listen, what are you doing tonight? I th thought you could maybe come round to mine and I'll make us a meal if you fancy. You asking me on a date? Are you saying yeah? Do you need help for your CV? I've not got one. I wouldn't bother to put on it anyway. Sparking drinks with ketamine and stretching salad. Liv, stop it. There's examples online. I mean, just tell them about helping us out of the B&B, that sort of thing. Just to show you're responsible. Yeah, right. You can do that. I'll see you later. Hey, I'm serious about that job at the calf. Why don't you have a bash at a CV and I'll have a look at it when I get home? Why, where are you going? Going into town for a few drinks. I won't be late. Yeah. Get yourself something to eat.
Let's go all these in a few weeks. We could go then. Be nice, the three of us. Have fun like old times. I don't know. Uh, can we afford this? We'll manage. It's important. What do you say? I find it hard to have fun knowing Beth's all alone. Maybe even facing prison. She put us through seven kinds of hell. Maybe prison's the right thing. I did that to you, not her. Right. Most important thing here is that you're back, safe and sound. And we need to start getting on with our lives and Beth as well. That's what I'm trying to do. What are we going to do? Well, for a start, we're not going to chuck money that we haven't got at the situation. Look, Beth's done a number on her. We have to be clever as well. We've got to be Team Beth, no matter how difficult it is for her. OK, I'll try. Beth's a misunderstood woman who deserves a second chance. Mm, well done. Mm. But it's changed between us. And it's not just cos of Beth. I didn't know you could cook. Well, uh, maybe I'm a cooking kind of guy. It's all part of me discovering new sides of myself. Mm, must be nice to be surprised by yourself. <laughs> Says you. I know you like this kind of music. Mm. Oh, smells nice. So do you. I love the stench of engine oil. Come here. Mm. <laughs> Who else said something about you? Words in the shop? Oh, yeah. Bit of a misunderstanding. It's all sorted right now. Ah, oh, good. Hey, it's grand like this. We're sorry to see you go. <laughs> mm, definitely. And not just because of the food. Well, uh, I'm not going yet. Thought I might hang around a bit longer. That'd be nice. Come on, then. Oh, mate, this is lovely. Didn't know you cared. I don't. You're going out. Uh, no, I'm not. Rona's due any minute, so can you set up another place, please? Oh, well, I'll be Rona now. Mate, unless you want to find out if that plate fits in your mouth. <laughs> oh, I'm going. But well, like I said, she likes you to stop being so nervous. I'm not. Just, if this goes belly up, though, I'm blaming you. Go. Good luck. This is an absolute nightmare. What? It's got to be some kind of a mistake. It's just the lasagna. I thought you were up for trying again. You don't understand. Ross, I don't know what we're going to do. I've only gone and cancelled the real hairdressers of Harrogate. OMG, how will we ever cope? Tell me about it. I don't know what sort of an idiot makes these decisions. I am, like, literally at a loss for how we will manage without it. I know, right? Tonight is the last episode, so... would you mind if we ate in front of the TV? That's lovely, by the way. Can we take things slowly this time? Cos, let's be honest, our past attempts have been disastrous. You're no filter thing. No matter how many times, it still surprises me. Yeah, well, get used to it, cos this is me now. I know. And I like it. Good. <clears throat> then open the wine and let's binge watch some episodes before the last one. <clears throat> yeah, come back as late as you want. Here, the keys into the stone, in case you lose the keys again. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'll be done. I promise. Yes, I promise. I don't know, plonk on the sofa for a bit, chill out. Might watch something later. I don't know. Something gory that you and Aaron wouldn't want to watch. <laughs> yeah. OK. I'll see you later then. Bye. And more soap drama next this Monday as the fight for custody of baby Susie escalates. It's Corrie and part two is at the later time of 9.30 tonight because in between a day it's some sensationally talented little ones want to make the coaches' teams. New The Voice Kids continues.